Hello everyone, did you know that your smartphones have certain default settings that collect various data? Namely, how many times you opened a certain application, what you clicked there, who you sent what to, what information you searched for in browsers, what you watched, for example, on YouTube, how many times your smartphone was unlocked, and a bunch of other information. Yes, basically, almost everything that happens on your phone. Of course, I was shocked. Do you know why? Because this information, in addition to being simply collected and displayed, is also sent somewhere to some servers, which, of course, you don't know. And in order for the sending to be done, your internet, your Wi-Fi, your mobile internet are constantly used. The RAM is clogged, the processor is loaded, the battery is uselessly consumed. In general, in 99% of cases, you will never use these functions in your life. Now I will tell you and show you everything. Be sure to support the video with a like, subscribe to the channel and share with friends. Yes, I was really shocked too that the developers cleverly include certain functions, and few people simply know where to look for all this. Here I will show you just one of these blocks, which collects absolutely useless information. Well, of course, the information is useless for you, but for the developers, of course, this is a gold mine, because they know almost everything that you do on your smartphones. Look, here we reach the section Digital Wellbeing and Parental Control. Click and look, you will see such a circle. Here, and here it is written, you spent 46 minutes there in a day. 20 messages, 3 unlocks. You were in certain applications there. In general, tell me, why do I need such personal information? Of course, well, completely useless information that only takes up your time and uses up your traffic, especially if you don't have unlimited traffic, your megabytes will be consumed. Here, but there is also parental control here. Someone really uses such functions, they will remain working. Now I will show you how to disable this particular block, and so that there is no more collection of information and where it is sent. We will simply neutralize it. Look, to do this you need to click on the three dots at the top right. Click on data management. And here we see that this slider is enabled. That is, this is the use of the device per day. Information about the use of applications, the number of unlocks, the number of notifications received, and the like. What kind of information about the use of applications is this? That is, in addition to the fact that it independently collects some completely incomprehensible data, all the applications that you have installed, it also collects data from them. Honestly, it's just awful. Let's turn it off. And here, look, it also says that it will be deleted only from the server in 24 hours. That is, somewhere, somewhere, it is sent to some online servers, somewhere it is saved, analyzed. In general, ask yourself the question, how will this help you? And in general, why send personal information about how you use your smartphone? But this is just awful. Here we click on these settings. Then you are transferred to this menu. Do not rush here. You need to find your digital well-being among all these applications. Here it is. Let's go. Here we have it written that the application will be able to track what other applications you use and how often, as well as determine the network operator, language and other parameters. Well, here they wrote so cleverly that in addition to the fact that they also got to the network operator, they wrote here that it can also manage and record other parameters. Well, I'm just shocked. This word can really include absolutely your entire smartphone. In general, they wrote so cleverly, let's say, briefly, but it really affects the operation of the entire phone. Of course, we take it, turn off this slider. Then we go back with the arrow. Then back again. You see, this slider has already turned off automatically. That is, the data collection has stopped. Once again, the arrow back. And now we look at the main menu, digital well-being and parental control. And this circle has already disappeared. It is no longer there. But all the other functions that were here, they will continue to work. That is, we only turned off this block, which was responsible for this collection of information. Firstly, it drained the battery a lot, uselessly drained it, but plus it also sent some data. Personally, I would never set this up on my device, so we carefully double check. If you do not need this block at all, if you do not use it, then you can do this tricky manipulation and turn it off. But for those who use digital well-being and parental control, do not worry, everything will work as it did before. No big deal. All functions will work normally, actively. Nothing will change for you, but your smartphone will already be unloaded and will work faster, faster, better and will stop sending your personal data incomprehensibly, as you use your smartphone in general. I think that the video was useful for many. Be sure to support the video with a like, subscribe to the channel and do not forget to share with friends.